So after our two year refit here in Fiji, turning our Open 66 into a fast family cruiser, it was finally time to head out into the open ocean. <laughs> Going out through the reef fast finally. Sandia. We're headed back to Europe, but it will take us many, many months to get there. I don't remember the word. But very binaka, binaka to everybody. Our first stop is Vanuatu, which is a relatively short distance of around 500 nautical miles in direction west. Good morning. Hello, Captain. Anything to tell us? How was night number one? Very good. Breakfast for sure. Oh, and the breakfast time so low. Good morning. You've been up here all night. When did you put the autopilot on? I'll get a coffee and get to bed. <laughs> Holding on pretty well then in swing. And this was Nemo and Solo's first passage at sea. The first 24 hours or so of a passage like this are usually the hardest as you're adapting to the great grey rolling ocean waves and the constant motion. We left in May, which marks the end of the cyclone season in this part of the world, so we had the easterly trades blowing us downwind for this trip. And as you may remember from our last video, being detained by customs meant we missed our weather window. And after a relatively rough first 24 hours, we had pretty light winds for the rest of the passage. Cooking is a big part of our life on board and we're sure to eat well no matter how big the waves. <laughs> Only I could capture the smell on the video, wow! What's she making us? We did a mix of hand steering plus using the autopilot which was something we'd added during the refit and was proving to be very reliable. Okay, this is the pilot, this is the old piston from MV. Okay, we ready test it, it looks like there is no problem. After we take from one old boat, abandon it, this computer, I wish still work. And this one we buy from internet, the compass, compass second hand, but look like quite clean. Okay, plus from another boat, we find this one. Don't look like have any kind of damage. Perfect. Now we prepare everything and we try to install. Okay, I'm on the end of the installation of the autopilot. The piston is ready here. Now I try to connect the indicator of the coronet. Oh, So hot, that's a long find the hole, yes. Installing this autopilot meant working in our super skinny, only 60 centimeter high stern. Okay. 
Allora, the new computer, the autopilot, all connect, the compass, I don't know if you see, is there an app in the corner, the pistol, now the, the pillar uh, indicator. Joanna, can you pass me the small rod? The, the, uh, the small stick to the indi indicator rudder on. Yeah, it's done. If you pass me that uh, stick, I come to connect the wire. Yes, through ya. Thank you. Oh, ok, senti, il torre. Ok, ok, va bene, ok, we go out. We hand steered more at night as we had less power then. So what are we doing this morning? Fiji and breakfast. breakfast. Yeah, hang on, what's it called? Bamba cow. Bamba cow. What a name. Really Fiji and breakfast is a mayonnaise, okay, salami, the Italian version of the salami and, and cheese. The Fiji and panzerotti, yeah? The Fiji and panzerotti. Impressive. And what have we got here? Days like this make all the blood, sweat and tears of the last few years worth every drop. Our speeds weren't super high for this passage, partly due to the light winds, but also due to the fact that despite our best efforts to prolong the life of our big laminate mainsail, it didn't survive. Uh, when one's laminate sail is f***, if you don't resist to the, the water inside, we fold, there is a big rain, and the sail is closed. Bam. It's finished. Rip it everywhere. We have another one today here. Eh? Finish. So we're detaching this sail because we've decided that um, we'll have to use our delivery deck on one for the, for the passage. Bye sail. Will we ever have such a nice sail again? So for now, we're left with our small delivery deck on main sail that only reaches the third spreader. Our water maker still wasn't functioning, so we had to inboard a lot of water and use it wisely. So we had to shower with buckets of seawater <laughs> and just rinse with fresh. Coconut water. Man. Man. Coconut milk. It's coconut milk. It's not at milk. 
but all good things must come to an end. Oopsie. This was a relatively short crossing and had been a good test passage for the longer ones coming up. Luckily, on the last day, we caught a beautiful yellowfin tuna. So for our last night at sea, we had delicious, fresh sashimi and carpaccio. What's for dinner? Fish. Oh, wow. Anyway. Chef, we have another meal here. <laughs> After four nights at sea, we had a mystical arrival with the active volcano on the island of Tanna smoking away in the distance, showing us the way. And dolphins came to greet us at the entrance of the bay and led us in. The same species. Sempre lo stesso. Female and male. What? This is the male. That is the female. Tu si o pestenella. You see the line on the top of the head? Eh? It's the stenella. Dolphins splashing. Dad's talking to them. Was that nice, Nemo? Yeah. What did we see? The dolphins. Dolphins? Did, were they swimming? Yeah. And jumping? Yeah. And splashing? Bastard feeling. Did you see a lot? Sorry, what are you saying? It delusioned you. Yeah. The dolphins are paid by the locals to greet all the yes. yachties that arrive. Yeah. Yeah, they pay them in sardines. The sardines. Yeah. You believe it's the only ask we saw and really they, they are paid from the local for uh, <laughs> to the <ride. laughs> Despite this being a short passage, it was an important step for us and a proud moment after many years of planning and preparation. Very serious face, very constant. Nemo, 
You see the big nappy, seven ma'am. Okay, up. Nemo, watch the flag, quarantina flag. Bye. So this marks the end of our passage, but the beginning of our long journey home. So stay tuned for our adventures, starting with this magical country of Vanuatu, so lost in the middle of the South Pacific that many don't even know it exists. As always, thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, we'd really appreciate if you're able to share it around a bit. And our biggest thank you goes out to our Patreon and Coffee supporters, who are a big help in making these videos possible. If you're interested in joining our community, the links are in the description. Thank you!